In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to run a badge activity report with the events badging system. This is a great way to run a report for a specific badge. In advanced badging, we'll click on general fields. This will open up the main advanced badging page. Up here in the middle section, you can do a search by last name if you need to narrow down the results. As you do the search, it will automatically search as you're doing the typing. In this case, we're going to select Honeywell 2. As you can see they have two cards in the system. Now when we have the badge holder selected, we will go up here to Badge, and then we're going to choose Badge Transactions. As you can see, this opens up a generic report. Here's the specified start and end date. You can change these if you need to expand or to shrink the date range. If you do change these dates, you'll need to click the refresh button to reload the page. As you can see, here's all the activities for the card holder. And you can see the card number, logical device, what action was given, and the event type. You can click print, and this will send the report to the printer. And click print preview, and as you can see, you can see the report as it would appear on the printed page. Go ahead and close this. You can also export the report. You can choose your different formats. In this case, we'll choose Excel. Click Next, and then just specify the file name. In this case, we'll name the report, report underscore card number, so we know what it is. You can also click here and set up the email fields to email out the report if you have set up an email server for badging. We're just going to save the report at this time. Click Finish, and it'll save the report. Once you're finished with the report, just click Close. For more videos, please visit https://honeywelldiscoverytraining.com. Thank you.